Last hopper system to do is OS 10 10.11 and El Capitan. Not the latest version, but 10.11 is is close. Documents once again, backward scrolling. I agree. My hard drive. All oh, that's fine and done. Install and now go, and I'll be back for the next part. I'll be back. And we are now at a desktop for OS 10 El Capitan 10.11. Let's quick look at the build. The new beach ball animation for waiting. Still waiting for about this Mac to show up at there we go. Uh, 10.11.6 is the latest version. Okay, so next up is the hopefully the final desktop recording of the operating system, and I'll be back for the desktop recording. I'll be back. The last supported version on OS 10 El Capitan, the last supported version of OS 10 for this Mac. So first, let's go over some applications that I added. First, the latest version of Safari is 9.1.2, which was released in 2016. Let's go to Apple.com. and loads up easily fine. So Safari does work. Um, numbers. So Apple spreadsheet program in competition in competition with Microsoft's Excel. So let's create a new spreadsheet. Again it's a new it's a new yeah a new um, mouse icon when stuff is loading. A little bit brighter, you say. So, here we are. This is numbers, so I could basically end, add whatever. Let's go, go numbers first. Let's go 50, 25, 74, 14, 10, and 100. 169. So I can highlight them all, right click, and we'll sort by ascending. And there we go, from 10 down to 169. Nice and simple. So that is a very quick look at the newest version of numbers, the last, the last numbers that is supported on this iMac, which is 3.6.2, released in 2015. I can also add uh, media from photos or stuff like that. I could also share via iCloud or send a copy through mail, notes, even messages. You know, so I can also change the text, the font, arrange, arrange um, align, the size and position. I can add shapes and others. So that is a quick look at numbers. Um, next is Keynote. And also we have Keynote files and numbers files, then we have dot page dot pages dot numbers dot keynote all supported 
for these for the three applications. So here we are. This is Keynote, the last supported version, 6.6.2, release 2015. This black background, as you notice, um, the, the newer versions of the Mac keep going very slowly than compared to the older versions dating all the way back to Tiger, Snow Leopard. A lot slower, but a little bit slower. So I can basically add anything. I can add a border, some fill, add, add media, add a chart, add 2D chart. I can, I can add a slide. like this um, I can play play my keynote presentation if I have any and I can change the background to have like a gradient fill a color fill or none at all so basically um, keynote versus PowerPoint Numbers versus Excel, pages versus Word, and Outlook versus Mail. That is Keynote. Okay, now the photography. Went over pages, so we went over photos beforehand, which was last part. So now, what do we have left? iPhoto and Aperture. The original photography program by Apple. Part of its desktop um, theme all the way back to the early part of 2000. One of the first applications for Apple to be used exclusively with I have a lot of people's growing a lot of people's growing photography collection dealing with um, their friends, family members, children a lot of things so basically here's my test photo I can also view photos that are in iCloud any faces, the faces of people events and major places that these took place, which iPhoto does integrate with Apple Maps. It's basically the same as photos. I can rotate the picture. I can try to enhance the picture. Any red eyes in my pictures, I can fix them. I could try to strain crop there's a crop photo it's right now at 3024 by 4032 it was taken on on an iPhone 6s I can go to what the display is 68 by 1050 very small so I can press done and there we go and there's my picture I want I can go full screen very slow to get to full screen yeah there we go just like that now I'm full screen stuff are way at the top so I can revert I can add any effects there we go um, can any effects? We can even uh, black and white, make it look antique, vignette, nice and cool. I can say cooler, saturate the colors, or just revert to the original.
and I can even adjust, which can go into more the detail. Once we slowly get out of full screen, yes, full screen takes a long time on the iMac, mid 2007. Slow processor, slow graphics card. Gets slower and slower every time. Which is why Sierra, latest version of now Mac OS, cannot be run. Because of the processor needs to be upgraded to to the Pendrum CPU type of the Intel Core 2 Duo and to have Wi-Fi compatibility um, the card needs to be upgraded as well to one that it is compatible with Sierra so very hard to do so I need to close iPhoto to go into Aperture. Aperture is Apple's professional photography editor program, while iPhoto is for normal consumers. So I can so I can do more stuff in Aperture and not a whole lot in iPhoto. iPhoto is basic aperture is supposed to be more more for professionals so I can change the warmth of uh, colors maybe lessen the exposure enhance some contrast and more shadows maybe change vibrancy and see how the picture changes. Um, I can also revert to the original. We have some colors down here, well, up here, which I think ha has has something to do with the adjustments that I'm making. Not into aperture a whole lot. Nice. I, I can also read the library. That is in um, iPhoto. So that is a quick look at Aperture running 3.6 2014. So going to three years old. Very old. Will it crash? It looks like. So I, have to, so I have to force quit. Let's go to iPhoto. Wait for that to load. Now, Time Machine is the same as the last version. Photos, iBooks, iTunes, all the same. And iTunes is the latest across um, these cross between Lion and Sierra and of course with Windows 7 and above iPhoto is running version 9.6.1 less updated in 2015 both iPhoto and Aperture were moved or merged with the new Photos app in Yosemite 10.10.3. Okay, so on the last note, how about so how about a uh, tool booting? Can you dual boot the iMac 20 inch mid 2007? Yes, you can dual boot it with Linux, Android. Yes, Android, Android x86 you can do that you can obviously do boot it with uh, Windows I would suggest Windows 7 th 
hurry to bit or if you have very old applications use Windows XP 32 bit both of them can be installed on the operating system XP can be but you need to do a little trick with with the application once I try to find it yes there's a bootcamp assistant and you need to do a little trick to install it ah, one more thing I forgot to go over is iMovie which I'll be using later which allows me to do simple video editing and I can upload my videos directly to YouTube of course but if you want to do boot use Windows 7 or you can even do boot multiple versions of OS 10 if you want to use par PC applications as well as newer applications then use Snow Leopard and either Yosemite or El Capitan. If you want to use the newest newest ones that are still available, use El Capitan or, or even Yosemite. If you want to use older applications, including older applications that still need PowerPC, who's snubbered, if you want to use both Intel and PowerPC, then do boot with Snow Leopard and I recommend Yosemite or El Capitan or or or, or try to run Snow Leopard in a virtual machine but you will have to use um, Snow Leopard server so basically this is iMovie I can add pictures to I can add pictures to my movie so say this is the one I just did for Yosemite I can add um, some transitions add backgrounds any titles audio like audio just going out sorry it's just the audio from the microphone and the operating system itself a uh, very simple for our iMovie I can also mark can try to enhance mute the audio and once I'm done I can I can share it upload to YouTube uh, Facebook file upload to a movie theater and yep that is it for now I'm officially done with La Capitan so I'll do booting um, Snow Leopard and maybe Yosemite or El Capitan or just use El Capitan or just use Yosemite or both or if you want to use OS 10 and Windows use use again Yosemite El Capitan and I would say Windows 7 because it's still supported but if you want to try out Linux or Android th then you can so we're done that's my look on the iMac mid-2007 a little upgrade through the years have to skip Mavericks because of installation problems so I'm done we'll see you all for next time thank you for watching have yourselves a fantastic night and as always take care